Bond has a little sexism, which was great. Can I help you? Yes, my name is Bond, James Bond. I am looking for Dr. Goodhead. You just found her. A woman. Bond should always be sexist. <laughs> Bond should always be an awful sexist pig. And I love when they throw some of that in there. So good job, Roger. Anyway. Are you talking about just that she's like, oh, or he's like, oh, a woman. A woman. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And she's Goodhead. like, what? what? <laughs> a woman can't be Goodhead. a doctor? And he's like. In comparison to another movie that shall not be named, because we've talked about it too much. Uh, they handle that a little bit better because I feel like there's a lot of these 70s movies that are handling the sexism, the feminism movement in different ways, like uh, the enforcers with the Clint Eastwood, where they have like, oh, he has to, you know, be the woman cop, and the woman cop wears high heels and carries a purse all the, everywhere, and she gets in his way, and it feels a lot like Man with the Golden Gun, where you have this character who is always getting in his way. That's but and this, that, this was the argument we had. The argument. I know, Shut but the but up. no, but it's relevant. It's relevant. It, it like. The fact that a woman in a Bond movie is not competent goes along with the subject matter of a Bond movie, a, a character who really thinks that women do get in the way and he should never be forced to be teamed up with. Like, when, when Bond is assigned to a woman, he's like, fuck you, M. Oh, <laughs> like, he gets upset about it. And so when Goodnight has the keys and he's like, oh, women. Women, walkie-talkie. It opens the door for Bond to be Bond. Like, it, it, it's, it, it's all part and parcel for me, unless you're a progressive. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, progressive. Bond's not a fucking progressive because Bond doesn't give a shit about anybody's politics. He's just like, women are useless and I, other than banging them. Speaking of Bond banging, this definitely has one of the most awkward lovemaking moments. My mother gave me a list of things not to do on a first date. He's with the pilot and oh, like yeah. their little back and forth right away is good. You know, and she's like, oh, my mom told me not to, oh, to yeah. fuck on the first date. And he lays her down and he's like, what about that list your mom gave you? And she's like, what about that list of your mother's? I never learned to read. I'm retarded. <laughs> you know, it's like, wait, what? How is that sexy at all? Like, <laughs> I never learned how to read. I never learned how to read. Like, I wish a little tear had dropped from her eye as she said it. And Bond's like, oh, God. Uh, I, I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> oh, my God. You know. Yeah. On that note, though, I do really like the somewhat subtle detail of this movie where everywhere Bond goes... There's just perfect tens. Like everywhere Bond goes, everyone's a babe, you know. And he's, I mean, he's he like, goes why to, is everybody so hot? He <laughs> goes know, like, to I, France <laughs> and he goes to Rio de Janeiro. Like mo I think yeah. both of those places are kind of, in some regard, known for having beautiful. No, women. no, but but the, uh, every every, well, every Drax employee. Drax. Yeah, yeah. It, it, I mean, he yeah. says at the end, he's like, all of you have been, just been working as janitors in my empire. Yeah. You have all served in humble capacities in my terrestrial empire. Your seed, like yourselves, will pay deference to the ultimate dynasty which I alone have created. Now you will be the progenitors of the master race. So it's like anybody associated with Drax is super hot and Bond's just like, what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> You know, and that's and that's why I made that joke in the opening where I'm like, why is Bond fighting back against this? Like, Bond. <laughs> I was gonna say Drax should have Drax should have tried to recruit Bond into it or he something. He would have, but he's yeah. like, Bond, you're too old, and I'm the only old guy who has to be on this. On yeah, this thing, yeah, yeah. So you're gonna yeah, you're but, gonna have to you know, <laughs> this one out, buddy. 